Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Jiu Jitsu Flow. Today we are going to be doing a workout based on ankle, knee, and hip mobility. Uh, I've gotten a lot of requests to do uh, something that is, can help with knee and joint pain. So these are some things that, uh, just some warm ups that I'll do before I train and after I train. And I tweaked my neck last week, so it's a great time to go over this right now. So if I'm looking a little stiff, uh, now you know why. Uh, but as always, we're gonna do some stand up movements. We'll do some ground movements. And you know, this is all follow along. So we're gonna do everything for one minute with a 10 second rest period. But when you're training on your own and taking some of these movements, uh, you know, you can do each one for 10 reps or whatever you need to do to help warm up or cool down. And uh, you know, hopefully it's, it's helpful and prevents some injuries. And so hope you guys enjoy. All right, let's get into it. All right guys, here we go. As always, we're gonna get started with our warm up breathing. Everything's coming from the nose. Quick breaths. Go. Here we go. Keep going. Remember, these are quick, short breaths. As we exhale, we're drawing the belly button in. Everything's coming from the diaphragm. You can put one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly. Make sure only your bottom hand is moving. Three, two, one, rest. Nice, get the blood flowing. Here we go. First minute, we're gonna go hip rotations and knee rotations, okay? Here we go, first 15 seconds. We're going hip rotations to the right. At 45 seconds, we'll switch directions. Remember, as we go into a stretch, we're exhaling, switch directions. Going to the left now. As we go through the transitions, we're inhaling. We're gonna try and have our breath in sync with our movements as much as possible. At 30 seconds, we're gonna bring our feet together. There we go, feet together, circling our knees to the right. At 15 seconds, we'll switch and circle to the left. And switch to the left. Keeping our feet and knees together as we're circling. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Okay, now we're gonna do a standing knee pummel, all right? So we're gonna drive the knee down as we windshield wipe our legs. One, go. Here we go. We're gonna alternate sides. Driving the knee down, creating more mobility in our foot to be able to circle what it looks like from behind. Okay, keep going. You can envision when our opponent is in an open guard position, they get their sticky foots behind their knees, right? You wanna get this movement of being able to leg pummel out of their sticky foot. Now we can start going into different passes, right? For example, knee pummel, bam, step, right into a split squat position, all right? So even when we're doing our warm-ups, mobility movements, we're envisioning how this can help us when we apply it to our jiu-jitsu rule. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Okay, here we go. Standing prayer form and stretch, okay? For 30 seconds, then we're gonna do toe taps. All right? One, go. Here's what it looks like. Right's gonna go over left. We're gonna sit down into it a little bit and switch sides. So we're working on the balancing on one side and the piriformis stretch on the leg that's bending. All right? Piriformis, like in our glutes. 
the size. Okay, 30 seconds. We're gonna change to bent leg toe taps, all right? Here we go. So we're gonna tap right foot to left hand, left foot to right hand. Exhaling as we go into the active stretch, inhaling through the transition. Switch the heel raises. Want to stay balanced throughout every movement, right? Here we go, heel raises now. If you're having trouble balancing, right, you can stand next to a counter, stand next to the wall. rotations on the other side, okay? Four ways. One, go. First one, we're bouncing on our left leg, right leg's gonna, ankle's rotating to the right, okay? Try to isolate that ankle so your knee and hip aren't moving, it's just the ankle. All right, at 45 seconds, we're gonna switch directions. Here we go, now we're circling to the left. Balancing on that leg, the left leg. At 30 seconds, we're gonna go from circling to pointing and flexing, all right? Here we go now, point, flex, point, flex. Still balancing on the left leg, trying to keep the right foot off the ground the whole time. At 15 seconds, we're gonna windshield right to left, okay? Here we go. Out and out and out and. Gotta warm those ankles up, right? Three, two, one, rest. Good. All right, now we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna be balancing on the right, warming up the left ankle. Three. And we're gonna start by circling to the left. Go. Here we go. Rotating left foot to the left. Again, in 15, or excuse me, at 45 seconds, we're gonna switch directions. Circling to the right now. One thing to pay attention to on our balancing leg, let's keep the weight in our big toe on the inside of our leg. We don't want our hip to start flaring out. Keep that weight on the inside of our foot, our big toe. Good, now we're pointing and flexing. At 15 seconds, last one, we're gonna windshield wipe inside and outside. Here we go, in and out. Still trying to isolate just the ankle. Three, two, one, rest. Nice. All right, keeping it moving. We're gonna go single leg deadlift on our right leg. So we're here. Three, two, as high as we can go. Go. All right, we're getting a stretch in our right hamstring, the back of our leg. We're also focusing on our balance. Trying to think of our body like a pendulum. So as the foot, the foot's gonna leave first. As the foot starts to go up, our upper body starts to go down. All right, we wanna try and keep our body straight like a teeter-totter or a seesaw. I don't know what the right name is. All the while, if we can, balancing on the right leg. I 
Neil Robinson. Three, two, one, rest. Good. All right, change sides. Now we're balancing on the left leg. Still got a long ways to go. I'm only in brown belt, right? Three. Always progress one. one. Go. All right, here we go. Left leg. We're working on getting a stretch in the back of the leg, our hamstrings. We'll also focusing on the balance. And again, right now we're, only, we're doing every movement for a minute, right? Because we have the time. But if you get, you know, before jujitsu class starts, okay? And you only have five, 10 minutes, you can go through each of these, you know, a couple times just to warm the body up. A warm up before the actual class starts. Because a lot of times, you know, everyone's class is different. Some may warm up, others may not warm up. Three, two, one, rest. Good, nice guys. All right, now we're gonna do feet facing straight ahead. We're gonna do a side lunge. Three, two, Opening up the, one, our adductors, okay? Getting a little nice little stretch. Just bouncing from one side to the other. We're keeping our feet straight, and as we lean to one side, we wanna keep everything in line here, make sure our knee doesn't go in front of our toes. So we're sitting back into the stretch, All right? And we're here, I'm sitting back into it. My knees aren't going forward, okay? Here, and switching sides. Keeping our feet planted on the ground. Putting all the weight into the side that we're leaning to. And right, keep on. A nice stretch on the inside of our legs, our adductors. Three, two, one, rest. Good, okay. There we go. Standing the base now. All right, we're gonna start standing. We're gonna go to our knees. Three, Stand back two, up. One, go. We're gonna go right leg for 30 seconds. Down, one. Flare them open. Up. Right side for 30 seconds. And then we'll switch sides. Again, we're standing up in our opponent's closed guard. We're in a closed guard. We're standing up in base. Okay? As we come down, nice and controlled on our knees. We're still warming everything up. Okay? In 30 seconds, we're going to switch to the left. Here we go. Now standing up with the left. Flaring the knees open. We're keeping our weight, our upper body facing straight ahead. Nice and controlled going down. Last standing movement, then we're going to the ground. Three, two, one, rest. Nice, guys. All right, let's go down to the ground. We gotta warm up our toes too. Three, all right? Two, so, one, go. feet straight ahead. We're just getting the toes moving. All right, you can do them individually or point and flex them together. I don't know about you, but when I get on the mats, especially if it's cold in the mornings, later at night or in winter time right now, the toes, at least for me, take a little bit of time to warm up. All right, it doesn't feel good. When we start rolling, we jam a toe. All right, so let's try and warm these bad boys up. Let's get them moving. And you can move them all at once, or you can try and start at the pinky, work your way up to the big toe, and then reverse. I see some people, they can flare their toes. I can't do that, but if you can, move them any way, any way possible. Just warming them up. Three, two, one, rest. All right, nice. Okay, here we go. Pike stretch, okay? This is an active pike stretch. We're not holding anything. We're warming up. Everything's active, okay? Three, so we're gonna try and hold the toes. One, go. Exhale. 
Try to bring our elbows to our knees. Inhale out. Exhale, elbows to the knees. If you can't grab your toes, grab your shins. We all got to start somewhere, right? I want to be able to get to the point where I can touch my chest to my knees, no problem. I'm not there yet. We all start somewhere and we all will go. We just got to start, all right? We're exhaling again as we go down. Inhaling on the way up. Touch our right foot, stay extended, walk, 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 touch the left, and back. Again, go to the left now. Walk, 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 try to extend, 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 touch the right foot, and back. We're going back and forth. Reaching, reaching, reaching the full time. All right? We gotta get used to walking our hands on the mats also, right? Walk, 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 walk. You can think of where this comes into play. Might be in a mount position, right? Trying to walk our opponent's arm up, maybe trying to isolate a limb. Walk, walk, walk. You know, I've got to think of any way the movements and stretches that we do can apply a jujitsu application. Here we go, last one. Three, two, one, rest. Awesome. All right, let's go, two more. So we're gonna go to S mount, or 90-90, right leg forward. Two, one, okay. go. So left, right leg's bent, left leg's bent. We're gonna lean forward, come up, switch sides. Trying to keep our feet off the ground as we switch. Inhale through the transition, exhale into the stretch. You might recognize this movement in some of the more intense workouts. You can take a movement and apply a different goal to it, right? Right now we're going nice and slow, just focusing on the stretch. You can make it harder and more intense if that's the goal. Three, two, one, rest. Nice. All right, here we go, last one. We're gonna do supine leg pummeling. Three. Okay? Two, one, go. First 15 seconds, right leg's going to the right, left leg's going to the left. Oh, this doesn't feel good on the neck. All right, at the 15 or 45 seconds, we're gonna switch directions. Here you go, switch sides now. Left leg's going to the right, right leg's going to the left. At 30 seconds, we're gonna windshield wipe. All right, so instead of circling, just like our foot, we're gonna be going in and out. Here we go. Left foot should touch the inside of your right knee. Right foot inside of your left knee. At 30 or at 15 seconds, last one here. We're gonna go for our knees are at 90 degrees. Here, flexing. Toes are flexed. Should feel a nice stretch in the hamstring. Last one here. Three, two, one, rest. Nice, guys. Let's finish up. Last one. One minute of breathing. Three. Let's do a cool down breath this time. Long, deep breaths. Everything's out of the nose. As we exhale, we're drawing the belly button in. Inhale, we're filling the belly button up like a balloon. We're working on that horizontal plane. Only the belly's moving.
three, two, one, rest. In time. All right, guys, hey, awesome job. I uh, hope you enjoyed. So again, these are movements that you can use uh, to warm up the lower body is what we focused on mainly, uh, feet, knees, and hips. And they're great to do before jujitsu class, after jujitsu class. I like to do them in the mornings, uh, in the evenings. You know, really just, I might take, you know, maybe do some toe raises or heel raises while I'm working just throughout the day while I'm sitting in line at Trader Joe's you know, whatever it may be, uh, work these movements into your daily routine. And, uh, you know, I think it'll help with, with injury prevention and just keeping your body nice and loose. So, uh, as always, please, you know, if you enjoyed, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel, keep giving me feedback so I can, uh, I want to be able to, to provide content that, you know, that's helpful for everyone. So, um, I hope everyone has a great week and see you next time.